I want to thank Yao from Hanbon Forge in China for sending me this beautiful custom sword. Yao said, Todd, send me the specs. Whatever you want, I'm going to make you that sword. And here it is. It came in yesterday from China. It's a beautiful kind of wakizashi kind of ninja sword. But I sent him what I wanted and he made it. It's beautiful for the quality it is. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at this sword here. First thing I'm going to do is wipe off the excess oil. It's a lot of oil on here from when they packed it. Just wiping that off so we can see the blade better. Just use a soft cloth when you do this. You can use paper towel if you're careful. Just avoid paper towel with ink on it. Now, look at this blade here. It's nice. It's uh, Yaito. It's not sharp. I wanted this made unsharpened. I'm going to touch it with my fingers because I'll wipe it later. It's all one piece here. There's no hamon on it, although it is handmade. Um, this is fairly dull up here in the Kisaki part. The point I had rounded off so that I can use this in uh, Kenjutsu or Iaido. It does have a full length bohi fuller here to make the blade very light. Let's take a close look at the parts here. The suka handle is about what is that eight inches long could be used easily with one hand. It's a Hinari Maki here and it's also a katate maki, which is a battle wrap where they wrap the middle here so that you could use this one-handed. This style was with really old swords as well as the gunto, the shin gunto swords of 1944. You see a lot of the World War II swords with this katate maki style in the gunto military swords of the Second World War. This is a dragon motif. So looking down here at the Kashira, that is a dragon. Hopefully that zooms in for you. The Manuki is also a dragon on both sides. I'm not going to unpeg this sword because the wrapping goes over the peg, so I'm not going to take the handle off. The wrapping is very, very tight extremely well wrapped. If you have a loose wrapping it's usually the sign of a really bad quality sword. The Tsuba guard here this has a dragon and it looks like two samurai bushi warriors one of them is holding a sword and probably a Haso no Kamai that guy has kind of a Yari spear so you have two warriors perhaps fighting this giant serpent. A little bit of a motif of a dragon there on the Suba guard. And it's highly decorated. The Samegawa is white underneath with the dimples. The Habaki looks to be brass to me. I'm not 100% sure, but it's really well fitting onto the blade. As you can see, it's very tight, the specs. There's no movement here with the Seppa. The Suba guard doesn't move. It's very, very tight, and this part is very, very well made. Sometimes there's a huge gap in here, but this one is actually very well adjusted and made for the sword specifically. The length of the blade is roughly 19 and a half inches. I wanted this to be a quick draw blade used as either a wakizashi or some sort of ninja toll here. Beautiful piece, very, very well done. Well put together. And I like that it's dull, that we can use it for training. Am I gonna use this to bang up in class? Probably. Yeah, I'm not a fan of keeping the swords on the wall just sitting there not being used. I like utilization, so I'll use the sword in class as a secondary weapon, a wakizashi or shoto. So here it is. Isn't that nice? Well made, well crafted. Taking a look at the blade here. 
it's brand, brand new. Very, very well done. The Saya is white, which I requested. This Koiguchi looks very clean and well made with the white lacquer paint on the outside. Sageo is simple black. Looks good. Classy. I like the black on white here. Very, very well made. Sword fits very well. It's tight, just tight enough so that it's not going to come loose. Well made. I don't get compensated to show off these swords, but I do appreciate Hanbon Forge sending me this beauty here. I'll put it in my collection and I will use it, utilize it in our classes here at the dojo. If you want to order your own, go to their website, hanbonforge.com, and you can custom make yours with the furniture that you want, or you can buy a pre-made sword. Free shipping from China. I think they were started around 2003, 2004, and I find that they're very good with their customer service. Some companies, when you order a sword, are not good with returning your emails or checking up on the shipping. Yao with Hanborn Forge has really taken care of me very well. So I will be using them for more swords in the future. Some swords there are over a thousand dollars and some you can get for a couple hundred. What's in your budget? I don't know, but this one is a, a beauty here, this dragon Akizashi here. Let's put her back here. I really appreciate you guys watching this quick sword video just showing this nice wakizashi to you in case you want to order one this summer or fall thanks for watching everybody we'll see you on the next dojo martial art video